All right, hey, how's it going? Wrapped up against the cult of the reptile god last night. That was pretty fun, awesome. As you can see on the screen here, um, over there somewhere probably. Uh, players, I had five players. Um, I only had four of them for the final. I had five of them throughout the game. Um, one guy couldn't make it. Uh, total three players uh, lost their characters. Um, uh, one of them tried to single hand a coffer corpse that didn't work out for him and a couple of them got lost to centipedes in the mud pits so that was pretty uh exciting for them because it's a one roll save you fail your save and done it and i was even nice and i gave them a second roll because after all they're centipedes they have weak poison so it's like you know what let's go ahead and just make sure that you're not like incapacitated or something for a while and yeah, we lost uh, we lost a fighter cleric. We lost two fighters and the cleric. And so right now the party is composed of a wizard, a thief, and two fighters. And the one guy is trying to decide what he wants to create uh, for his new character. Probably going to end up being a cleric because I need one. Otherwise, we can go with the uh, handing out potions of healing, which are actually mimics joke i saw recently so uh, i might go that route i guess that's a that's an, an entirely a possibility uh but yeah i'd like to go ahead and just just kind of get into the against the cult of the reptile god just kind of page through it real quick and talk about some of the components uh the good parts of it are it was tied in really nice with my treasure hunt uh campaign the party had came from that island uh, i landed in orlane they want the one friend that they had made on the previous campaign worked out real well that the old lady in orlane was their friend or it was her grandmother actually and it tied it in right there easily i actually placed orlane on an island instead of in the middle of the marsh like where it actually belongs uh, and that actually worked out perfectly. The island was big enough that they'd have to go out. There was some, you know, the agricultural areas. And how I kind of set up the island, I didn't, like, cluster the village all together. There was, like, sections of it here and sections of it there. Kind of like more of tiny little um, communities built around this island. Instead of just having it all clustered in one spot. Although I kind of did have the main... Uh, Golden Grain Inn and uh, Temple of Marika and stuff together just to make things simpler and to make things make more sense for the game, fl for the game flow. Uh, of course, when they got to Romney, that was like a day of actual travel overland to find him because I didn't want to, he wasn't like super easy to find. But they did gain his uh, alliance and, uh, and they started to work with him and now they're working for him uh, because at the end of the adventure, uh, they defeated the Naga, and I didn't have Romney go with. I had Whiskers go with, and actually had him more of an awakened type deal. Uh, whereas he cast um, Enlarge on himself and was able to kind of stand back and then do the dispels and the stuff that the book has Romney doing. I didn't want Romney stealing the show, so I figured I would just have his familiar go. And if more of it comes of it, the Whiskers is more than he seems throughout roleplay, fine. Otherwise, Whiskers is just what Romney's familiar, that this wizard had cast some ma magics and gave him some abilities, and he's used those up and won't be able to use them again. So it really kind of depends upon how the adventure flows. Uh, next, we're actually going to do the... Uh, Oh, on our way to the Ghost Tower of Inverness, which is where we're actually headed up, we're doing the Lost Island of Castanamir, uh, which is what's coming after this. But the party, of course, the, pl the players are, I guess they're actually working for Romney now, and that's what here, where he's going to send them. Uh, the adventure as a whole, though, against the Cult of the Reptile God, uh, very solid, I think. Uh, phew, enough sandbox to really allow a group who wants to do sandbox to really just move around and just check things out and do a lot of role play do a lot of investigation you could do a ton of exploration with the troglodyte angle you know and really bring all of that in uh okay so the guy was saying uh they with their friend her grandma lived on the island i actually had grandma the friend and yet another player who actually kind of dropped the, out of the game i had their those P, um, NPCs all got taken by the cult, so that was kind of gave it more of a time 
crunch that oh my gosh we got to get to figure out where they're at got to go rescue everybody of course they did rescue them um they could they did get there in time but you know they had some casualties on the way but there's two two original characters left from when the treasure hunt campaign started till now so it'll be interesting to see if any of them actually make it to the lost tower of inverness or not or maybe it would be a brand new party just uh, could keep it going on uh, the uh history of the old so that part of it actually becomes very very interesting um like i said pretty pretty solid adventure there's a couple of weak spots that i kind of shored up here and there uh, the Temple of Marika was kind of um, disappointing in a way because you could basically s skip most of it. There's a little bit of a problem, of course, in the basement with some of the maps and stuff. But that was all pretty easy to work around. You just, you know, fill in the missing blanks and run from there. Uh, overall, yeah, it was pretty good. I ended up doing a lot of set scenes. Whereas I kind of had it planned out based upon, you know, what the party had done last time, ask what's your plan next time. And they would say, well, we're going to go talk to Romney or we're going to go talk to Alan or, you know, and then I would kind of like set it up from there what the actual adventure was going to be. I always had an opt, you know, an option that, you know, maybe they're going to just leave, go back to their boat, hop on their boat and sail away. That could have been a perfectly legitimate, so I always had a backup plan for that. And yes, they would have gotten their boat, they would have sailed away, and they would have ended up somewhere else, maybe on the mainland of uh, of the Wild Coast, or maybe some on some other island out there. Uh, just kind of depends upon what the players kind of were feeling. But so far, they would have really pretty much enjoyed it. So like I said, a bunch of set pieces, kind of here's what the plan was, and they kind of ran through the lead scenario uh, for the most part, it worked out pretty well. Um, we didn't want to take a years to run through it, because in these campaigns like this, you could take years slowly leveling up and, and whatnot. And so I kind of be a little bit extra generous with the experience, just because I do want the, them to get to a certain milestone, a certain point in the adventure and in the campaign. It's a little bit constructed that way. A little bit planned out that way and not quite as sandboxy, but it's not railroad either. Because like I said, it's our full player agency and they can totally change their mind. And we can go in another direction. Of course, you have to be pretty familiar with the adventure and your kind of your ideas for the adventure to make something like that work. So I definitely work really hard to make that happen. So, but yeah, overall, great adventure. I think it would convert to 5e real easily because pretty much it's the story. Uh, there's a few things like how poison works and stuff, which would be different in 5e, of course, but you could like maybe do some madness or something there instead. And uh, yeah, so I hope this was interesting for you and it was certainly a, a fun adventure for us to play through. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please give a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Catch you next time. Bye.